Time for a soccer down here, 1v1, and it is time to catch up with half of the equation getting ready to play for a championship in USL League One. And it is the Tormenta Magenta side of things. Hanging out with us, Tobias Otieno, who's been in these finals games before. We'll get into that in just a little bit. Tobias, thanks for hanging out for a 1v1 as you get ready for another championship game. Of course, of course. It's my pleasure, sir. All right. So when you look back on this season, what has this season been like for you being a part of Tormenta having come from Union Omaha? What what has been this season? What has the season been like for you being a part of this Tormenta group that's now playing for a championship? I mean, I'll say the season has been good. Has been good despite having a lot of injuries and coming into the season late because of I had issues with my visa before, so I missed a couple of games. But as soon as I joined the team, I feel like the team has been progressing well. So I'll say the season has been great. Has been great. A lot of folks may not necessarily know how crazy USL League One can be. Where if you got, and it, I think it speaks to just how competitive it is as a league in general, where if you've got, say, three games in a week, you're playing weekend, midweek, weekend. Weekend. You have a, you've got a run of form. You, you, you hit a hot streak. You get maybe seven points, maybe nine in those three matches. You can go from like eighth to second. To second, yeah. But. If the inverse happens and you hit a cold spell in those three games, you could go from second and fall out of the playoff picture. For someone who has never seen USL League One break down how crazy this league and how competitive this league is. Well, that's a good question. I mean, it is competitive because every game, it's, uh, it demands you to be at your peak. And it's not easy to perform in every game as a player. The best thing you can do is to stay consistent. I mean, as a group, that is what we always go for. We go for, we approach every game to win, you know, and we expect our opponents to, they, they do the same. They approach every game to win. And it all goes down to the tactics. How well prepared is your team, you know? So I'll say like it's it's a very competitive league, and every weekend you have to try your best to win every game, and that is what we try to do as a team. And at the same time, being there in Statesboro, Georgia, last time I checked, there are no direct flights from Statesboro to Fresno, California. There, there are no. Wow. There are no direct flights from Statesboro Airport to Tucson. There are no direct flights from Statesboro to Madison, Wisconsin. What is the travel like in this league to get from point A to point B? How do you keep yourself sane? How crazy is the travel? Because I don't think a lot of folks I, understand. I mean, a lot of people don't understand. Me too, I was shocked because I, I think my longest flight was from Statesboro to California to Fuego, oh my God, it's the longest because we took like, a, it's six hours, but we took like a, three hours from here to three hours, three hours each because we connected. We connected and we have like a labor for like one hour. So basically you travel the whole day and the next day too, you have to, you have a match and you have to win. So it's very tiresome. It's, it's hard. It's tough. And as a player, those are the challenges in the game. So you have to be prepared mentally for them. How do you take care of yourself as an athlete, not just mentally, but physically? So you're in these six-hour plane rides and you're yeah. taking the whole day to travel. How do you make sure that you're not a pretzel by the time you get out of the bus or off the plane and be ready to go? Uh, mostly, I. I I hydrate more, I drink a lot of water, and I make sure I sleep early, and uh, probably I, I make sure I eat, I eat early too, and get a little bit of massage from the team doctor and everything, just to be ready and stretch 
a lot of stretching before game day. So, and rest a lot. Not necessarily sleeping, but rest, active rest, you know? So those are the type of things that I do before the game. When it comes to getting ready for a championship, how would you compare your Omaha experience to your Tormenta experience? How, how would you compare those two lanes of getting ready the first time for Omaha and now getting ready this time for Tormenta? How would you compare those two? I'll say one thing that is that is compar- the one thing that they have common comparison with is like every game is demanding and every coach is demanding. The coach demands a lot from the players and every coach, both from Tormenta and both from Omaha, is like they expect the best out of you because it's a it's one game and you're, it's knockout, literally. So it's you take it one one game at a time and you have to give your best in, in that game in order for you to, to move on to the next level. So I think pretty much the one thing that they are common with is the consistency and the and the what do you call it? Your output in the game. Yeah. So have the have you offered advice to your teammates? Have they come to you and asked for advice knowing that you've done this before? What 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 have those conversations been like getting ready for this game? I mean yes, some of them have come. We've talked about it most of the time. They've asked me how it is like to, to play in a playoffs game and uh I'll normally give them one answer, one one answer because I feel like Confidence is all you need because every game is the same. Just go out there and play, play your best. That's all I'm. I always try to do, and that is all I. All I'm, I always try to tell them too. If you go out there and give your best, you're guaranteed you. At least you will win, you know. Even if, if even if you not, even if you you do not win, but at least you're you're comfortably. In your in your head, you're comfortably because you're, you at least you give your best, you know. Yeah, I'll say that. How do you keep from getting too wound up? Because you're in a championship game, and there's that first thought of I've got to just invest everything, and I've got to just come forward a hundred and ninety thousand percent. How do you stay cool yeah. and pace yourself in a championship environment? Uh, I mean, you have to think of it like this is not your first time playing in a competitive football, so you have to take it easy on, on yourself too. Because every game, this is just like an, any every other game. Just be yourself. Try to be yourself. Relax and give your best. Go out there and give your best. Fight for the team. I think that is all it takes. Going back to last week and the Greenville yeah. match, what True. what was that match like for you and your teammates going through that semifinal? Because it's a rivalry. You're on the road, and that championship op- uh, opportunity is right there. What sticks with you from that game in Greenville against a, a tough opponent last week on a rival? I mean, the last game was a tough game. The last game was a tough game because uh, all of us knew it was a tough game because it's a rival game, you know? And uh, going into that game, all we did is we believed in ourselves more. We knew that if we go there, we're going to fight, we're going to give our best, and hopefully we, we get to win that game. And that is all we did. We turned out to be the best that game turned out to be the champion so I think we we gave our best the most important thing that we did is we had we had belief in ourselves because we knew the odds we were away we were on the road we traveled like with the bus for almost like uh, three to four hours so probably all we had to do is give our best because we knew we had a good team we had a good coach Literally, we had no excuse to lose, you know? 
what has this experience been like for you? I imagine it might be a bit of a culture shock going to Omaha, Nebraska to play. What has it been like for you to be in Statesboro, Georgia, to be in the same league? But what, it, what has it been like for you to be in Statesboro as an experience as a professional footballer? I mean, in Statesboro, they, there's not a lot of things to do in Statesboro, actually, but for us, it's like uh, as a professional athlete, you have to be, you have to say professional, you know, you have to, 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 to take everything, do everything in a professional manner because all we do is like come, train, go for lunch, attend meetings, and uh, play games. So everything that you do, you have to try to be professional. So when it comes to your game, and how you are trying yeah. to trying to improve as a, as a footballer? What do you yeah. what, what do you think you have improved upon the most this year as a footballer? What do you think that is? Wow, well, that's a good question. That's a good question. I think the most thing that I've improved on in the part to my game is uh, the consistency part of part of it because in Omaha I was on and off on and off because of injuries and uh, so it cost me a lot because I missed a lot of games and uh, when I came to this year I haven't had injuries like last year so I've been consistent and I've been trying to score a lot of goals and as much as I've never scored a lot of goals at least I, I get involved in a lot of goals, goal scoring chances. You know, I try to create a lot of chances for my team to score or for my team to win. So I feel like I've improved a lot in that sense. Like I try to get involved in every goal scoring chance. With Chattanooga, it's an opponent you've played yeah. before. You yeah. know what to expect. For someone who is just watching Tormenta play Chattanooga for the first time this year with this game, when you look at Chattanooga, what are the challenges that they bring to Statesboro this weekend for a championship? What have you seen with them that is the most challenging part? I mean, they, they are a good team. They are a good team. They are, more, they are a competitive team, and they are more possessive team. They like to play with the ball a lot in the middle. And I think they have good players too. So for a team that has good players and have play a possessive game, we expect like for them to be good on the ball. So most of the time, sometimes we, we won't have much of the ball, but at least we have our own way to play too. So we expect them to be more possessive on the ball. We expect them to, to create a lot of chances, not necessarily a lot of chances, but we know at least we'll have to defend a little bit more and create a little bit more of, more of like counterattacks from our team. Tobias Otieno. Hopefully it's cool. True. So Tobias Otieno, this close to chasing after a championship. You've got probably 17,000 more of these interviews with media types to get you ready, but I know that you just want to get out there and play. Thanks for hanging out sure. with us. <laughs> Thanks for hanging out with us here on soccer down here for a 1v1. We will be watching this weekend as Tormenta chases after a championship against the Chattanooga Red Wolves in USL League One. Thanks for hanging out with us. Good luck. Stay safe, and we will see you this weekend. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. I appreciate it.